Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is TG Type Wi Fi Clinic. Um, so sorry for the background noise. Um, here on our decks, we are having uh, a power bank board that is not charging. The complaint of the customer was uh, no matter how long she plug it on on the light that is when she's charging it it will be indicating that it's charging but it will just remain on that one bar it will not increase so the indicator light will just be we have how many indicator lights we have one two three four five so i think let me zoom closer so that we see and um, we have four indicator lights and she said um, it's just it just this one indicator light that will be that will be blinking so he said no matter how long even though she charged it overnight there will be light overnight and she will plug it and still to still remain on that one bar so the first thing when i the first thing that i check when i dismount when i dismount to the phone when i disassemble the uh, my cell phone so sorry um power bank board was to know the output that is going to the battery connector this is the battery connector you can see this is the connection here and this one so this is plus and this is minus so when i check it to my testimeter it was giving me instead of four volts it was giving zero point zero point um i think zero point fifty six let, let us check but when she brought it the first thing i didn't even the first thing i did i didn't even check the voltage that was going to the battery connector so i just I was thinking maybe it was the charging port that was not okay. No, I changed the charging port, the problem was still the same thing. So you can see it's been plugged in now. It's because I didn't connect the battery. It's because I didn't connect the battery. That is why the light is not showing. So now let's check if the voltage is going in. Okay, maybe I should connect the battery so that you guys will see what I'm talking about. Let me connect the battery. You can see it's connected now. So uh, let me plug. Let me plug in the charger. Let's see. You can see it's not even. It's not even giving a sign. And it's not even giving a sign. Before I. Before when she brought it, I think she, it was giving a sign. Now it's not even giving a sign. So if you can see this charging port, see. Look at this charging port. You can see I've even replaced the old one. I was there. So it's not even indicating it's charging or some sort such thing like that. So it's not indicating at all. So now what what I will do is since it's not indicating now, um, what I will do is I will disconnect the battery now. Let me see what's the problem. Now um, let's check. Let me plug. So that I want to check. I want to know the voltage is going to the battery connector. To trying to trying to move my car camera up so that my testimeter will show. So um okay. So I'll be putting my testimeter on DC mode. So it's on DC mode now. So let me check the battery connector. You can see we are having 1.9. Okay. We are having 1.9. 1.94 we have 1.94 can you see so the is not even up to four points and we have um, about four battery cell inside the power bank and this voltage is very very small for you to for you to charge the phone so definitely the charging IC should, is the problem 
the charging IC is the problem. Now, here's our charging IC. The charging IC is very close to the charging port. Let me zoom. You can see the charging IC. We have um, charging IC 4056P 530X. Where will I see that? <laughs> Except if I order for it, I think it's online. But in this kind of case, instead of because in this uh, area here, if I should if I should charge them, they will not they will not pay. They will tell me they will, instead of them to uh, pay each, that huge amount of money, they should go and get another power bank. But there is another there is alternative way of solving this issue. Now the the idea is the idea is actually the idea is. I think we're having okay we're having one two three four five six seven eight eight legs of we are having the IC is having eight legs now let's assume this is the charging IC this is charging IC one two three four another one again one two three four right so um, now to look at it if you understand how an IC work, you can see this dot here. That is where the county starts from. Can you see? This is where the county starts from. So there's a dot here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is it. So now since it's like this, and um, this is what I did. This is what I did. This is what I did. No, I see just the combination i see just the combination of different components so you understand so i see is the combination of different components the transistor the resistor um, the diode everything so this is what i did so this side i did this like this one to eight is like this that is the idea that is the idea and i've tried it on other power bank which it works so this is the kind of this is the kind of um, solution i do use Ah, I think it's dropped somewhere. Okay, just manage it. Let's manage it. Let's manage it. So this legs for this one, this legs for this one. That's the idea. So now, how do I know the legs that is for the charging? That is, that, that, that is having issues. Now, I'll be bringing my power bank. This is the, this is the, this is the idea here. So now, in reality, this is the IC. So you can see now we're doing something that is technical so now the the uh, what is it called our charger is being plugged in so let me let me see ah, my testmeter should show my testmeter should be showing okay i, I think my testmeter is showing now okay very good so now we want to check because this is you will see the tracks the tracks of the plus this is where it goes I would think I will need to zoom. Wow. Okay, let me quickly describe something. You can see if we take a very close look at this stuff here. Take a very close look at this stuff here. You will see we have um, the tracks of this plus. You can see where it's going. It's coming to this place. It's coming to this place. Then it now goes to this few and uh, what is it called this resistor. R200 is coming here, it's coming here, it's coming here. It's going to this side. And so one is going to this place. Look at this legs here. So the voltage is coming here, the current, the current from this resistor, it passes this to this place. You can see that's the fourth leg. Yeah, the fourth leg of the IC. You can see. Hope you can see it very well. See it. So the fourth leg of this IC, it passes, it passes the current to the ic so now the idea is look at it very well the idea is if four volts is coming to this legs here definitely look at the look at the battery connection tracks 
battery connector on tracks that is the plus you can see it's coming to this place are you getting me so now let's check the voltage that is supplying here we have five volts here so now i think i'll zoom out hope you guys understand what i did so i'll be zooming out now so that my testimeter will show now okay very good now let's check if we have five volts this ground as we all know let's check you can see we have 5.17 hope you can see we have 5.17 that is 5.17 now what about this place what is what is, what, what is the what is it called the output that is coming out from the charging ic that is applying to the battery connector let me check it's applying 2.11 and if we check um if we turn this board now you see what it's supplying it's supplying one point uh, 1.19 i think there about supplying 1.19 so the problem is this charging ic is not supplying the voltage that is needed that is why the power bank is not increasing it's stuck on one bar so now what we are going to do is we are going to use the solution is we are going to use a um we are going to use a wire a jump um, a wire yeah a jump a wire to run it from this place let me zoom in now as it is now we we'll need a wire a connection that will connect this place to this place are you getting me we need a wire from here to this place if we connect a wire to this place definitely once okay i think i will explain why wrong because if we use a a wire to connect from here to this place a cable like just a cable just need a cable a cable like this like this cable here you can see just need a cable now if we use that cable i think let me just do the let me do the experiment so that you see what i'm talking about That's what I did. So what I did is the five volt that is on this legs that is going to this um, IC here, this charging IC. So I pass the uh, what is it called the voltage, the five volt. I pass it to this side. You can see the tracks of the battery connector. This is the tracks of the battery connector. This is it. So it's going to the IC. Are you getting it? So but what the IC is producing to the battery um, to the uh, that is bringing out that's the output that is supplying is very very low it's supplying one point two point which is very low so if you, if any power bank or any phone or mobile phone is supplying one point definitely it will take time for it to charge for it to add up are you getting me now as it is now i've bypassed the five volts to this side now if i should plug in my charger if i should plug in my charger are you getting me if i plug in my charger now i think it's going to indicate yeah you guys can you see now you can see it's indicating light that means i think we have five volts now on the battery connector are you getting it let me check if any item is getting out nothing is getting out so we are good to go nothing is getting out i'm just trying to feel the board i'm just trying to feel it nothing is getting out so it's okay so now uh, you can see the light is on so let me check the voltage let me turn it the other way around that is the output from the battery connector let me check we have five five points we have five points one three which is very okay we have five point one three oh i didn't show you my testimeter i think let me zoom out so that you guys can see so that do not look as if um, I'm talking to myself. Let me turn the other way around. So um, now my testimeter is showing up. So let me check the voltage again. So the output, you can see the output is five points. It's not stable. We have four point nine, four five point something. We have five point which is okay now you can see the voltage is there 
now the problem with this working is if we leave it like this now if we connect the battery without charger we will not plug in any charger but with this well, the problem with this working is that if we plug out if we, if we solder our battery now the light it will be charging by itself automatically are you getting me why because you know i told you the the positive um tracks look at the positive tracks is going to this place direct so and we all know that on our battery we have we have some charges inside are you getting me so the charges will be going to the charging ic and it will send a signal that yeah there's light there so it will be indicating that's why that that bulb is indicating now let me let me so that it, so that you guys will see hope you guys understand what i'm saying With that. Okay. Now let me connect my battery now. Just to um, to portray what I'm saying. Okay, my battery is connected. My battery is connected. Okay. Okay, about is connected. Let's plug it. Let's see if it is charging, if it's working. If you take a good good look at it, you can see it's charging. You can see it's charging. So we have one bar is charged already. Before it was just one bar that was blinking when she brought it, it was just one bar, it was not increasing. So you can see two bar is charging now so now let me remove it if it will not charge automatically you see what happened now after i remove my charger what happened it's still charging that's what i'm saying that's the problem about this working you see you can see after i remove my charger it was still charging can you see it's still charging after removing my charger so that's the problem of this working now what we'll be doing now since we are bypassing this stuff here now the that is where we now um what is it called we now need the components called diodes so the diode will fall in here just to so you know i told you i told you guys that a diode is we all know the meaning of a diode a diode is a component that 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 passes current in one direction that passes current in one direction so for this current to not be reversing back to the charging ic so we need a diode here so i'll be putting a diode there so um either you get a zener diode or the other black diode yeah, i think i have one diode here. okay i have one here so this is the diode i'll be using this is diode you can get these diodes inside any um inside any um power bank that is 40 40 power bank so this diode it has a code um, I think we have a code S SS34. You can use a any diode as far as this black diode. So this is the diode I'll be using to correct this error. You can see it's still charging even when I have removed my um, charger. So now I'll be disconnecting my battery now. Now let's correct this error. Let's collect this error. So let me disconnect my battery. So my battery is disconnected. Now let's let's make use of our diodes. And the way this diode works is because our diode is like this. I think I will need to draw a, a kind of diagram so that you guys will be able to understand. Now let me draw a diode. Look at this diode here. So, if you get a diode, the diode is like this. Are you getting me? On the diode, you see a line, a line like this. I think we have two or three. We have a line on top. Two or three, there yeah, about. Yeah. So now, these are diodes. These are diodes. Right? Now it has legs like this, legs like this. Right? Now this side. We have five volts. You know, we have five. 
sorry a call came in um so you know these are our ic these are charging ic now i've breached this um what is it called this charging ic now i'll you know we have a five volts here right so this five volts we have to bypass it to this place are you getting me to this um pin five pin five right so now i said it ought to come in here we need a diode here are you getting me now let's assume this is the five volt this is the five volt this is the current five volt current that is coming this line this line is represented as our current are you getting me now if it's coming here this is how you connect it now if, instead of the five volts instead for you to connect the five volts to this side you don't you will not connect it to this side this is how you work it this is where the five volts is going to go are you getting me now it diode move in one direction it does not move backward if you connect connect cannot move if if i should put this five volts here if this connection should come here now it's not going to pass it like this it's not going to pass it to this point why because you've connected it wrongly now if you want to connect your 5 volt make sure the 5 volt is connected to this place where there is no line are you getting me now since we've connected we've connected the 5 volts here so it's going to pass this 5 volt to this place either it, it will give us 5 4 point something volts or 4.98 volts or or 4 points or 4.5 volts are you getting me but if you if you connect it wrongly there is no voltage that will be coming out from here so this is how you connect your um diodes on the board so now let's go to the working um where's the board okay this is the board there so now um let me check yeah i'm going to okay very good so now they out So I'll be disconnecting this this guy here. Let me zoom in. You can see I've disconnected it. Instead of this wire to be going straight to the legs, the, that is the fourth pin of the charging IC. It will be going to the diode. It will be going to the diode. Sorry. I have a call, sorry. So if I were to be going to the diode, now it will be like this. Hope you guys understand what i'm doing now you can see you know i told you instead of this red cable to go to the diode uh, to the charging ic legs that's the fourth pins straight it will go to the diode so the other side of the diode will be going to the fourth pin of the charging ic do you see what i did You see it? Let you guys understand. Can you see? Instead of the five volts. Now, if we connect our our power, our battery, now instead for it to the voltage to be going backward, this diode is going to stop it because this diode is going forward. It's not going backward. Are you getting me? The connect that is going to the that that, that will enter the uh, what is it called? The diode. It's just one direction. It's not. It's not backward. It's not going backward. Any current cannot go backward. Now let's check. So you guys can see. Now let's connect it. Let's say that to be sure. So I'll be connecting my batteries now, just to be sure if our working is correct. Album. I need to take this stuff so that it's not it's not going to beat the board. Okay. Let me take it. Let's see.
I will need to tape it so that these dials will not be touching the board. That's how I'm using tape. Okay. Now, just quickly connect. Now, let me zoom out. So our battery is connected now. Let's test. You can see it's charging now. So now you know the other one, the other working we did when this diode was not there. You know if it's charging, if we should remove our charging port, it will still be charging. Now let's try and remove whether it's going to stop or it will continue charging. Well, you can see it's still charging. So this formula is now working. What should I do? Oh, see what happened there? It works. It works. Wow. Now you can see it stopped. Okay, let's try it again to be sure if this works. I thought it's not working. Let me see. Try it again. Let me leave it for a while. It's charging. So let me unplug my charger again. Let's leave this for some while. Whether it's going to stop. Okay. Fine. Very good. Okay. Very good. So I think the reason why it's taking time for it to go off is because um, it's because there is still current. The the charging IC is still receiving some little current before the diode will now stop the corner that is going to this charging IC. So I think it's working. Let's try it again for the third time. Let's see. You can see the last time and um, the one I was when the diode was not there, you can see it was taking time. When I removed the charger, it was still charging for one minute. For I think 50 seconds it was still charging. But this once I removed the charger. I think it will take, um, let me say, 10 seconds before it, the, this thing will stop. So let's try and remove it again. Let's see how many seconds. One second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds. That's nine seconds, you can see. So this solution is working. So if you're having a, 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 this kind of problem, can use this kind of solution to solve this problem. So guys um i'll stop here hope this video help you guys so if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe also this is digital my phone clinic thank you for watching